recently I've um, helping fifth graders throwing about an hour and a half meeting putting it together and just teaching them about Christ and doing different activities. We also do once a month an apostolic project where I take them to nurseries, um, nursing homes where they help the old people. Usually they sing with the elderly and um, we also painted their nails, a lot of the women's nails. We've gone to a hospital, we've did a food drive, um, we've also collected toys for the children at the hospital and we are working now on our Mother's Day celebration where we're throwing a brunch for the mothers. Well, I experience faith through service work with my community and giving back to others. I volunteer sometimes at homeless shelters collecting and providing toys for underprivileged children, especially around Christmas time. I'm also working with my parish to maybe get a teen ministry group to go to Indiana or southern states to make homes for the underprivileged people and to uh, give back to them because a lot's been taken away from them through natural disasters and we're hoping to maybe give something back to them. And throughout my life I've been taught that faith isn't about getting something in return, it's about giving something and that's really where you get something is you feel it in your heart. Then last Saturday I went to um, this thing called Rebuilding Together. Different churches do it, parishes do it, and you go to a house and you like paint their house for this like for uh, someone who can't who doesn't exactly have like like such a nice house anymore and we painted their house and it was like the best experience ever because this woman she was like the nicest person ever and she she wanted to help us do the do the house like I mean she didn't have the money to do anything but she wanted she wanted to help us and bring it back together and everything and it was just it was a lot of well I do like volunteer with like vacation Bible school in the summer and I help with all the kids and like um, I guess help their like Bible experience and like teach them classes or something and then I also like have like a youth group I go to and we go to, um, well we just went to like a concert kind of thing, a Christian band thing, so that was a lot of fun. Um, faith has always been really important to me and just recently I finished at St. Joseph's Religious Education in Lockport and there I was an aide in the fourth grade class and I was able to help the teacher like bring the kids closer to God and in that like process I was also able to get closer to God and I thought that was just really interesting. It makes me happier and kind of, it, almost brings me kind of like somewhat of like a peace and I'm kind of like excited when I do like help people even if I don't realize it. Uh, over Easter we went to retreats and visited churches and you got to see a lot of like teen kids because that's where it was based off a teen ministry group and then the teen kids praying and I think it's pretty powerful to see teens pray because mostly it's older people praying and teens don't really connect with their faith but I thought it was pretty cool to see like actually people finding faith and finding God and it's pretty moving. Um, well, Kairos was one of the best things to actually happen to me. Like, I went on, like, I knew a couple of the juniors, like, there were eight of us, but, like, I thought I knew them, but then, like, after Kairos, like, I really, like, got to know them, especially the one that was in my group. And, like, I was really nervous because, like, I thought it was, like, gonna be, like, this whole, like, God, like, like, cult thing, but then I realized, like, it really brings you closer to God, and, like, it's not a cult at all. Like, you really get closer to God, and you get to know people, and, like, find God in yourself, I guess you could say. And then find God like in other people, like, and you just get to know them, and like you see them in school, and you're like, wow, like I never like pegged you as that kind of person. Like I like you so much more now. Kairos was really amazing. I went on Cairo 17 in Mount Assisi, and I was a junior, so I was picked to go with eight other. There were eight, eight of us all together. Eight juniors were picked to go along with the seniors. So that means that we're going to get to go again and be leaders. And it was probably one of the biggest things that strengthened my faith was going on Kairos because you get to go away for a weekend and then you're just on God's time the entire time and the best thing is you learn other people's stories like you could like I didn't even like you get separated into groups and there's people in my groups that I didn't even know their names and at the end of the weekend I found out that I relate to them on so many different levels that the girl you thought was just weird could be going through the exact same things you are someone you never even knew is a lot like you so you just you realize that there's a face, like there's a story behind every face and that everyone has something to say. Probably the way I live the fourth the best is that when I look at people and I see them, like I try not to judge them so harshly. Like I think, well, I don't know you, but like I'd like to get to know you. Like there's probably, you're probably going through a lot right now. Like you probably have like, you probably have something huge to say. Maybe you don't talk a lot, but there's probably like a lot behind you that people don't know. Like you're probably a really good person.